Namaste, I am Saumya and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a review on Bath and Body Works Dark Velvet Oud. I'm not sure if it is exclusive to the Middle East market. Um, it's been trending everywhere here. The pictures, the videos, the bloggers have been talking about it. I obviously uh, had a chance to experience the scent by directly going uh, to the store. So I have my thoughts on it. I don't have the bottle here. I will leave the pictures. I'm pretty sure. Do I have something stuck in my teeth? I was snacking before the video. <laughs> okay. So Dark Velvet Oud by Bath and Body Works. The notes are uh, Raspberry Sugar Velvety Rose Rich Oud. There's obviously more notes to it than the prominent ones mentioned. Uh, my first impression was it's one of the most wearable oud scents. It is a very modernized, a westernized, diluted take on oud. So if you are someone who likes woody scents with um, more feminine elements, you will love it. It's uh, what I've written down is um, it's a rich blend and it's expertly balanced with woody oud, luscious rose, sweet red berries. Uh, if you have ever been to Dubai, you know that one of the cafes where a lot of the Arabs uh, enjoy eating is Cafe Batil. So to me, this is, the scent is like sitting in Cafe Batil, surrounded by Arabs who's wearing dish dash and abayas and they all smell like different oud um, something woody something oody something uh, floral and you are eating uh, you know a raspberry pudding or a muffin or some berry cake so that's how I experience it like you definitely feel the berry sweetness but you're also surrounded by something woody and floral. That's how I experience uh, the fragrance. And the reason I said Cafe Batil is because it's one of the famous cafes over here. It's like if you come to Dubai, you at least try uh, having something from Cafe Batil at least once. And you also get lots of um, you know, um, dates with nuts and uh, lots of things like that from there. I think even uh, different Arabic coffees. So yeah this is how i experience the scent is it animalic no the oud here is not medicinal it's not scangy it's not animalic and there is a quality where i feel on my skin the scent is a little more linear there's not too many facets layers or complexity to it now talking about longevity if you are comparing this with into the night and in the stars you would find this one lacking it's not as long lasting as into the night or in the stars. It does pretty well, like um, two hours, two and a half hours, and that's that. Do I have anything else to say? So I would end by saying it's a very beautiful, berry, floral, feminine scent. At least once you should try it. And if you are getting married, you would love getting the whole set because there is an element of uh, luxuriousness to it without the oud being too out there. As I mentioned, it's westernized and modernized and that's it.